Hello world, it's Siraj, and I gave an AI $10,000 to trade stocks, crypto, and even meme coins with. Let me show you how it works. You can see the Alpaca dashboard for paper trading right here. It shows you my buying power, how many positions that I've held, what my recent orders are. You can see that I own some ETH USD, some Apple stock, a good mixture of crypto and stocks and a bunch of orders. This looks great, but it's still in the paper trading environment. Let me show you how to do this with live trading without coding a single line of Python. That's what this video is about. And I'm gonna give an AI $10,000 to trade across three different strategies. And at the end of the video, you're gonna find out after 24 hours if I made money or if I lost money. So just find out at the end of the video. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to tradergpt.co. This is a tool that I've been working on for the past few months in a silo, but I'm ready to show it to other people. I'm so excited to see what you wizards do with this. So once we log into tradergpt, we're gonna design our first strategy in Python without coding anything. So I'm going to create three different strategies. The first strategy, it's going to be called the sentiment surfer. And what it's going to do, it's going to collect sentiment data in real time, hype essentially from x.com and see what stocks are going to be profitable or not, and then preemptively make trades before they get hyped. So it's going to look for cutting edge news articles and then make trades based off of them. The second strategy that I'm going to build is called the time traveler. And it's going to look at historical stock price data to make predictions about the market and make high impact trades before anybody else. And the last strategy I'm going to build is called the crypto chameleon. And its job is essentially to be a chameleon, hide out there and nobody knows what it's doing, be very volatile and pick the most volatile meme coins to trade with. So those are the three that we're going to build in this video and deploy without coding a single line of Python. So let's get started in Trader GPT. Let's give it our first prompt to build that first strategy. So the prompt is going to be create a real time strategy that capitalizes on pre-market news surges across social media platforms, particularly X, to capture early gains on breaking headlines before the market opens. And then it's going to give us a strategy and it's going to output working Python code. And the way it does this is it's a mixture of experts. It's going to look at the output of a few different AIs, ChatGPT, Claude, a variant of Llama 3, and then it's going to pick the best one. And when it picks the best one, it's going to keep trying it out in its virtual environment until the code works. So we don't have to worry if the code works or not. It's always going to work. So let's take a look at this strategy. You can see it's working Python code based on exactly what we said. It's going to first fetch recent trending news and have hashtags from X, focusing on stocks that have garnered attention in the pre-market hours. Then it's going to perform sentiment analysis. It's going to find the favored news articles and social media posts to assess which stocks are likely to experience favorable moments. And the last step is to allocate a portfolio based on those sentiment scores. And you can see inside of this Python code that it's going to look for Apple, Microsoft, Tesla, Netflix, Amazon, all AI stocks. And it's going to use X's API to make these trades in real time. It's going to use X's API to get the sentiment scores of all these different stocks. So we can now click on back test. And what the back test button is going to do is going to compare our code versus the S&P 500. And you can see right here that the orange is the S&P 500 and the blue is Trader GPT. And it looks like Trader GPT against the past 10 years of data back testing has done a lot better than the S&P 500. So given $100,000 as our initial investment, Trader GPT would have made a 13.3% annualized return, which is 3% more than the S&P 500. So that looks good to us. Let's go ahead and invest in that stock. So we're going to click on the invest button. And then what it's going to do is it's going to connect to our existing brokerage. In this case, it's Alpaca because it offers commission free trades, which is what I love. And then it's going to say, well, what do you want to name the strategy? Now let's call it the sentiment surfer, like I said earlier, and we want this to run 
every single day. So we have an option. Do we want it to run daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, or yearly? We're going to choose daily, and we get to choose how much money we want to put into this. So let's say we're going to put in 3500 US dollars, and we're going to click this share with community because other people can see what our strategy looks like, and we can compete against them to see who has the most profitable strategy, which I love to do. So once we click the deploy button, it's then going to create an entire dedicated AWS cloud pipeline just for this trading bot. And that involves a lot of different functions. It involves creating our own compute instance with EC2, Elastic Compute 2. It involves storing our data with S3, the simple secure storage, S3. It involves creating a dedicated function to run using Lambda without any server, serverless. And it involves creating a dependency-rich environment using the Elastic Container Registry, or ECR. CloudWatch rules are gonna run at a set interval, in this case daily, to run this Lambda function. And all of this is going to be monitored by IAM to make sure that it is in our secure, dedicated environment. So you can see that the deployment is completed. And if we go to the dashboard, we can see a bunch of different important numbers for us. First, we can see our portfolio value we can see our buying power we can see what our positions are and so far I've deployed several strategies so you can see a bunch of different positions here you can see what are your our most recent orders are Tesla Microsoft Google Amazon and Apple in this case we can then see the back test results of our strategy the metrics as well as the code itself because this is our dedicated strategy and then we can see the community. So we can look through different strategies that the community has output themselves and we can compare ours to theirs, see who did what, which one's the best strategy just by clicking on them. So that's just the first strategy. We have two more to do. Let's ask it to develop a strategy that identifies and trades potential meme stocks before they go viral using a combination of Reddit activity, historical volatility patterns, and unusual options activity. Now, this is going to combine several different data sources, which is what Python is great for. It allows us to use 10 plus years of libraries, all of the APIs of the entire internet, and it will let us build this custom strategy for that. So instead of just using social media data, we're using social media data and historical data and real time activity data regarding options. So we can see in the explanation that this Python code is looking at Reddit activity. It's using, it's looking at historical volatility in terms of how much a stock price has fluctuated over time. And it's looking at unusual options activity to see what options trading volume may indicate that traders are placing significant bets on significant shifts in the stock price. And you can see all of the Python code here and it works. We don't even have to worry about running it locally, setting up the dependencies. All of that is already done for us. So now we can just click on back test and see if it's going to outperform the S&P. And Looks like this one outperformed the S&P as well. So let's go ahead and invest in this one too. Now this one we're gonna call Time Traveler. So we'll type in Time Traveler and we're gonna type in a specific funding amount, let's say 3,500. And again, we click deploy and it's gonna do the same exact thing. Same exact AWS pipeline is created just for this strategy. So, and once that's done, we can go back to our dashboard, we can look at it and we can compare it to all the other strategies in our own portfolio, as well as the community at large. Once it's deployed, we're going to deploy our third and final strategy and that's our cryptocurrency strategy. Design a swing trading strategy for major cryptocurrency pairs that dynamically adjusts to changing market volatility and uses machine learning optimized technical indicators to do so. And this is going to be a cryptocurrency focused strategy that we get to use and deploy. Um, for all of you crypto fans out there, this is I know what you've been waiting for. Here it is. It's going to look at different crypto prices. In this case, in the code, you can see Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. And it's going to use different historical price data to compute SMA and EMA indicators, assessing the market conditions over time. And it's going to introduce a linear regression that is a machine learning model to learn from these indicators to predict the next price changes. And the way it's doing that is using scikit-learn, as you can see here. This is a dedicated machine learning model it will train in the cloud for us we don't have to train any model it does it for us and you can see it's always going to output the 
optimal portfolio allocation that we can then use. So let's go ahead and back test this third strategy and hopefully it does well. And it actually, this strategy did not do back well. In fact, you can see that it had a 10.5% annualized return, whereas the S&P 500 did better. So what do we do? Well, rather than focusing on fixing code, let's fix our prompt. So we'll tell it, hey, this strategy was suboptimal. Can you focus on more profitable cryptocurrencies? And then it's gonna choose what those are, and then it's going to readjust all the code until it works for those new cryptocurrencies, and we can back test it again. And in this way, we can create, design our own strategies, deploy them without typing a single line of code. And you can see in this new strategy that it included major cryptocurrencies like AVAX, Chainlink, Litecoin, and Cardano. And when we click on back test, hopefully this one's going to be better. And it is a lot better. All right. Thank you, Trader GPT. We see a 15.1% annualized return, which is what I like to see. So we're going to invest in this third and final strategy. We're going to call it Crypto Chameleon. And we're going to give it 3500 USD. And just like that, we are now in the process of deploying our third highly complex, customized Python trading strategy in our own AWS pipeline. It was that easy. No coding was necessary. So now let's wait 24 hours and come back and see how well these strategies did. Let's go. All right, it's been 24 hours and after investing over $10,000 across nine different stocks, it's made a total of 2.73% profit. Not too shabby. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're ready to start trading with your own trading bot, sign up today at tradergpt.co. I'm allowing the first 200 people who watch this video to sign up, and then I'm closing signups for now. But if you wanna be a part of the alpha version of Trader GPT, go to tradergpt.co today. And as always, hit the like button if you like the video, hit subscribe, it really helps promote the video. And for now, I've gotta go keep on trading. So, thanks for watching.